Hello YouTube, it's Indiana Woods Outdoors and I'm Big Buck Hunter and I'm going to talk about a few of the things that I use, uh, preferably knives that I use during deer season and some of the uh, outdoor gear uh, clothing that I use that I wear when I'm deer hunting. Um, I don't know about y'all but I have a problem with staying warm on uh, the cold Midwest days. You know, you get up in a tree and it's 30 degrees outside and of course the temperature drops all day long and you get the wind picking up you know waiting around nine o'clock in the morning and you know you might have some fog set in or wherever your location is you're down in a valley and of course you know that temperature drops right there at morning three or four degrees and i mean you just get cold so one of the things that i learned here a while back and i've done a lot of research on was uh i looked into some sitka gear I'm not sponsored by Sitka Gear in any way. I just researched the warmest clothing possible and done a lot of, uh, like I said, just a lot of research. And then I decided to bite the bullet and I bought some. Uh, one of the jackets that I wear is this one right here. I use this one in early season. This jacket right here. It's very thin, but it's got the mariano wool on the inside it's got a face mask built into it and it's actually got an elastic style hood that when you put it on it fits tight to your head uh this is not water repellent in any way so if you're out in the rain or whatever this will you know get water inside of it but i can actually hunt with this jacket on as thin as it is with just a mid-weight to heavyweight base layer and this jacket down to 30 degrees. Um, the Sitka gear stuff will fit really, really tight to your body, but because of the stretch to it, it will, it doesn't hinder your movement, whether you're pulling a bow back, shooting a gun, whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't hinder your, your movement in any way. It does fit really, really tight to the body. Uh, I'll also have a set of insulated bibs and a set of insulated jacket. And I use the, uh, I'm wanting to say it's the Fahrenheit. Um, no, it's the Fanatic. I use the Fanatic series. Uh, the Fanatic series coat, which is right here. This is the Fanatic series coat. It has a humongous kangaroo pouch style pocket right in the middle. And then it's got a little zipper pouch right here to where you can put your phone or whatever. You could put your hot hands in here. Um, it's also got a magnetic closure, but you could put but not a small set of binoculars here, range finder. It's also got a hole for a grunt tube and it goes all the way down to here. So, you know, you got about six or seven inches of your grunt tube sitting down there. It does have a zippered top for a hood. It does have the uh, hole in the back of it here to put your harness through. Let me find it here. Actually, no, this does not. It does not have the hole in the back to put your harness through. So uh, it does not have that. It does have another zippered pocket on your shoulder or on your sleeve for put your wallet, your keys, whatever. And then, of course, right underneath where those pockets were for your other stuff, there's another great big deep pocket right here that you can also put, you know, calls, uh, your cell phone, whatever. Uh, this jacket here has the wind stopper membrane. And I've been out in 16, 17 degrees with that jacket and my bibs on with a 12, 13 mile an hour wind, and I've been absolutely comfortable, been warm. I've been able to sit in the stand for hours. As long as my feet don't get cold, and I'm gonna try to work on that this next year uh, to where I can stay in the stand a little bit longer. But that's my biggest issue is my feet get cold, and I don't know about y'all, but when my feet get cold, I'm done. Um, <clears throat> it's usually my toes. I've yet to find a set of boots to where my toes don't get cold. Um, that's uh, some of the stuff that I use that I wear uh, when I go hunting. And like I said, the, the lightweight jacket, it's good down to 30 degrees. If it gets below 30, I'm going to put that one on. Uh, and then I'm always wearing my bibs because whether it's 30 degrees or, or negative 30, I'm going to have those good heavy bibs on to try to keep my core and my lower body warm. 
Uh, two of the knives that I use when I'm out deer hunting is, and I bought this probably 20 years ago. I don't even know if you can find it anywhere anymore. It's a little video thing. This is a K-Bar, little Skinner gut hook. I mean, it's got a two inch blade maybe. Um, and I could not tell you the amount of deer I have gutted with this little knife. Um, I mean, it's just, I kill six, seven deer a year and I always gut them with this knife here. And I mean, it's just a phenomenal little knife. It's a little just K-Bar Skinner. And like I said, I think I've had that thing for maybe 20 years. Um, I actually lost the sheath to it and I had to make me a sheath for it. Uh, the other knife that I got here recently, uh, my wife actually bought this for me for my birthday. Uh, she got me a Tom Brown tracker. This thing's got a saw blade on the back. It's got actually two blades. You got like a Skinner blade and then you got this flat blade here. Look how thick this thing is. This thing's a quarter inch thick. Great big micarta handle. I mean, this thing is comfortable in the hand. Very strong, very durable, extremely sharp. Um, I've actually used this. I've climbed trees that I thought were, you know, were straight going into new woods or trying to get closer to, to a deer trail or whatever. And you get eight feet off the ground and there's that limb that sticks out the back of the tree. I've actually used this knife and whacked limbs off the back of the tree. I've never had to sharpen this thing yet. Uh, but that's the Tom Brown tracker. Really nice knife. It comes with a sheath. It's got these belt clips on it where you can actually let it level along your back. Or you could turn them to hang it on your side if you wanted to. Um, I like, I just put it in my backpack is what I usually do with this. Uh, that's a few of the items that I use when I'm out hunting. Uh, the knives are always really good to have. Uh, they're usually in my backpack as well. I really, really like this little guy because like I said, it, this thing, the whole, whole thing, I mean, it fits in my hand. So that, that's a little knife and it's a very, very strong knife. I mean, I've cut through brisket bones, uh, rib bones. I mean, I could probably cut a whole deer up with this thing if I wanted to. Um, it'd probably be dif difficult to get through some of it, but I know for a fact that I can gut any animal I wanted to, especially if it's a whitetail, uh, with this little knife. When it comes to the big, heavy, you know, pelvic bones or something like that, I'll get this out, or if it's a big old buck and I can't get through that brisket and I need to get through it, you know, a couple of smacks with this thing or you turn around, raise up on it. You can get through them ribs pretty easy with this. And then there again, that pelvis area where you got to split that pelvis and you know, get all that other gunk out of there, the urine bag and whatnot. This thing here, I mean, this is this is a beast of a knife. I mean, it's probably it probably weighs close to 20 ounces, maybe a little more. But that's a full size Tom Brown tracker. It is made in the USA. Of course, it's going to be backwards because I'm using my phone to video this. Uh, but Anyway, this is Tom Brown Tracker. Very, very nice knife. They are expensive knives. They're in the $200 range. Uh, very good knife. And if you've never bought Sitka gear before, uh, you can go on, uh, there's a few websites. If you just look up discount Sitka gear on the internet, you could go on there and you could find like last year's model or last year's design. And you could usually get the Sitka gear for anywhere from 30 to 50% off. That's how I got mine, because I wasn't gonna spend $500 on a jacket and $400 on a set of bibs. I actually got the jacket and the heavy duty Fanatic jacket and the heavy duty bibs for about 500 for the set versus 500 just for the set of bibs or for a 500 just for the, for the jacket. The uh, other little lightweight jacket, I bought it uh, offline as well from that discount site. And I think I only give like $110, $120. And I seen that exact same jacket at uh, one of your uh, big, uh, you know, pro bass style uh, establishments. And that jacket was like right around 200 bucks. And I think I give like 120, 130 for it. And it's extremely, extremely warm jacket. Uh, but that's just a few of the items that I use when I'm hunting or wearing when I'm out hunting, just to be comfortable. Like I said, you always need a good blade. You always need to stay warm. And I look at it anymore as the gear that I'm using is gonna last me a lifetime. 
uh if you ever have a problem with any of your sitka gear you know you can you can always contact sitka and they'll they'll fix it replace it whatever uh especially like if it's a zipper area they uh they guarantee that stuff not to break or not to rip um when it comes to the fanatic series it is it is water repellent it is not waterproof i've set out in drizzly rain light snow and i've sat there for a few hours the outer shell gets damp but your inner shell does not uh i would say in a real drastic downpour you're probably going to get wet uh, but they do have uh, a rain style clothing. I think it's called a downpour jacket and downpour bibs. Uh, but all that stuff, like I said, it's you know it's it's pricey stuff. It's expensive stuff, but it's really really good quality, really really good stuff. And I really like it myself personally. Uh, like I said, I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. I'm just trying to get out there and let people know what kind of hunting clothing I use to stay warm in these Midwestern days when it gets really cold outside and, you know, cold for us in the Midwest is in the teens and, you know, early, you know, light negative numbers, you know, negative one to negative 10. And as long as my feet stay warm, I'm good. And, you know, even wearing the Fanatic series, they do have a Fahrenheit series as well that, I've been told and from the reviews I've looked at that if you get really, really cold easily, that's what you want. But I actually tried on one of those jackets and it's just too bulky and too big for me. I don't, I didn't like the bulk and then the outer shell is kind of like that Gore-Tex duck type shell to where it's, it makes a little bit more noise where the Fanatic series is a brushed outer shell. And, I mean, it makes literally no noise whatsoever. But, anyway, thank you all for watching this video. If you would, please like and subscribe. And uh, we will catch you next time on the next video. Thank you all. You have a wonderful new year. God bless and happy hunting.